Hi. Welcome to this 23rd day in Lent. It's March 11th today. We finally got a new TV. Got a new TV because our plasma screen lasted 20 years before it finally failed this past week. Had to break down and get a new TV. I was really looking forward to getting a new TV though once it finally did quit on us. I don't know if I'm so excited about it anymore. I'm trying to get this new, it's got all kinds of fancy things on it, which I said I was looking forward to. And now I'm just scratching my head. I'm feeling like a bit of a, a bit of a failure. This stuff used to come so naturally at one time. I've been away from it too long, I guess. Nothing to do with getting old. <laughs> Ever feel like a failure that you should be able to do something you weren't able to do before? What about your Lenten journey? How's that going? Have you been staying on? I did 164 consecutive Lenten journeys on time, every day. Uh, sometimes earlier in the day, sometimes later, but always got them in until Saturday. And I felt a bit like a failure that day too, but I was feeling a lot of other things when I was under the weather. Uh, before we talk anymore, our scripture today comes from Isaiah chapter 65, verse 17. For I am about to create new heavens and a new earth, and the former things shall not be remembered or come to mind. When I read that, I was thinking about things we leave behind, things that are new. And thinking about that, let's get back to your Lenten journey. Did you give up something? Maybe chocolate or coffee or cinnamon buns? I've never been able to say the word simonin. Simonin? Nope. It's not going to happen today either. Maybe you've added a new practice, maybe a prayer practice or a spiritual practice or doing something kind every day practice or phoning somebody every day to, just to check in every day of Lent. And did you miss one or did you fail anywhere along the way? Did you slip in that cup of coffee that you weren't supposed to have? I think that's also part of this Lenten journey. It's not all about prayer and, and almsgiving and fasting disciplines. It's, I think in some ways it's about failure. Not deliberate failure, but that kind of failure that helps us recognize that we're fallible. And when we've got a faith in our lives, we've got God in our lives, we've got a faith family in our lives, We've got people in our lives that can carry us through, that we can lean on, that we can say, that's okay. It's going to be forgotten in time. There'll be something new created. All this will go away. As Isaiah says, shall not be remembered or come to mind. That's what I'm thinking about on this, this uh, 23rd day in Lent. What are you thinking about, Bumblebee? She's intently staring at me, seeing if I can get this TV figured out. There must be a favorite puppy show coming on or something. Let's take a moment and pray. Precious and guiding God, we give thanks that you are there on this journey with us, whether it's our Lenten journey or wherever our journey is in life. Help us to be kind to ourselves when we come up short. Help us rejoice in our successes, but also help us to comfort one another and ourselves in our failures. Nothing is perfect. We know we are not. But through you, we can be better. In this we pray. Amen. Well, <clears throat> sooner or later I'll get this thing figured out. But until then, have a blessed day and I will see you tomorrow. Come here, come. What do you think? Can they come and help me or not? Think I should go to settings?